What do you mean you deserve the ring? Give it my ring. I bought the ring. Yes, and I want you give it to me. You propose to me. Give it my ring. Somebody that wanted to be with me, but you don't want to be with me. You give me. I don't hate you. You are a fucking problem. Oh, fuck, you're cutting me. Yes, give me back. Give me back. Go in your room. Give me back. Give me back. Wait, did she say? Did you say she's cutting you? Yeah, with her nails on my neck, fighting me up. Then you know when you know when I throw back the ring? Do what I used to do. Me never know. Me I said every little thing is like a complaint. Every little thing is like a complaint. Everything. Yeah, eat my pum pum. You say me lap me eye. Yeah, you wear try for say me not looking at your face. Yeah, eat my pum pum and me lap me eye. Yeah, yeah, complain about that. You cannot eat your woman pum pum and your woman lack her eye. Yeah, yeah, complain about that. Eh? JPB Entertainment feed comes the before me start that intro year, I have to say. The people that come like them harder hearing or something, like, or them lack understanding or something. Like, I literally said, the timestamp, when you can skip to the skip this whole video to the live, when you can't bother with me commenting or my opinions, or when you just want to get straight to the point, when you can just skip to the timestamp at the bottom right of your screen you don't know why some people can't get that like people still a comment i say yo may i talk too much or whatever and then just want to get straight to the video when me literally put the timestamp at the bottom right of the screen guys and just listen with understanding and just do the right if you know i hear the explanation from me or the commentary if you don't know what i go on the timestamp i got always the right or something at the video when you can just skip past but anyways guys jpb entertainment feed welcome back to another hot update before we jump into this video please let me get a like on this video first of all let me get a like a subscription if you haven't subscribed already we get into 20,000 subscribers clap on yourself all those all who subscribe already if you're going to subscribe now please hit that post notification bell when you subscribe and also share this video with someone you know who will be interested don't leave out any friend them and such right we are get right into this one this one is entitled coco fighter ex fiance for the ring yes a big big fight come here say coco i'll pop off knife pan, pa, 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 the bee. <laughs> but yeah guys i'll get right into that right after the intro versus her fiance things get oh, heated oh my god me the f away i've been trying hardest like yo i did this i did that kyla i did here it's supposed to be the peak of everything we're supposed to be making love be happy i'm supposed to be giving what else i have i have we're supposed to be time for fucking life but you always mad you always angry i know you want to shit let me ask for something me and my family, I have nothing to do with it. it. Stop putting it there. I'm not dumb. I'm not stupid. Of course, you're a dumb bitch. You're a dumb ass stupid bitch. bitch. Yeah. That is what you are. Right. That is what you yeah. are. Okay. And you know what? You can't do what the fuck you want to do. Because I'm not dealing with this shit no more. Right? Everything is not about fucking you. You need to fucking understand that. Everything is not about fucking you. Stop being violent. I'm not being violent about you. Don't put your hands I'm sick of that. Hold on. So y'all hear this? This damn, is her damn. fighting back for the fucking ring and beat and fucking 
fighting me. And y'all saying that this girl is a fuck. Okay, y'all listen. Share the fucking life, guys. Let people leave her alive and come hear the truth over here. Did you say she's cutting you? Yeah, with her nails on my neck, fighting me up. Then you know when you know when I throw back the ring? Listen to this part. Give me my ring. I was this I'm so shocked. Kyla, go on the room. Give me my ring. Give me my ring. Okay, no problem. Yo, Kyla, You know what I do to give her back the ring? The bitch was going for a fucking knife. You want me to come to Jamaica and lose my fucking three points? For a fucking ring, bro? Are you mental, bro? Now, ladies, let me get a little understanding here. If you don't want a man, right, or a female, whichever one you date, right, why would you keep the ring if you don't want the person, right? Me not understand that. Now, that to me is evidently showing that she's, she just want the ring and figure up goodly, sell it or something. Right, I don't understand that that kind of show some, some shady vibes like like she didn't want him to use him or some shit. Like, I me me say, me say she wanted him to use him, you know, but I say it's like that. Why are you keeping the ring? The man spent up how much thousands on the ring. I'm sure that genuine because the amount of thousands of US she, um, him, she spent on her. Yes, remember, there are two females that we are talking about right here. Now, remember this female has money right this female that proposed to kayla so we know that the ring they're genuine right now kayla is uninterested in this female no she don't she don't she wants nothing to do with her right she insists that she want to keep the ring why i don't understand that somebody let me get some understanding in the comments please i beg <laughs> And if we're not stuck in the dark like me, we don't know why she would have keep the ring. Tell me why we not assume she would have keep the ring. Just like me, we assume say yo she have go pawn that and get some money from it, right? Me just assume that, right? Cause like apparently she was apparently she wasn't using the female, right? But why else would she keep the ring if she don't do interested in the female? She not give back the ring to the female, right? So what else could I, she could have do with it? I don't understand that. So let me know guys what you think down below in the comments. Now Kay Hyla also took it to her life some hours ago and she continued to speak on this ex-fiance of hers. Now this is what she had to say. But you understand like it's very draining. So yes. You you try with somebody, you try, you try, try. I cannot do anything to help this person and it's sad to say i cannot do anything at all to help this person you know she has to get a uh, professional help um i don't have no power in that i cannot um you know I don't know. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Grandfather taught you to have standards for yourself. Exactly. Like, you know, like, it has been very draining for me, to be honest. It is just a sad situation all around for everybody.
for me, my friend, for my grandfather, every single body. Because at the end of the day, it's like this person does want everything to be about them. And you cannot think like that. Like you have to think about people. You have to respect people. You have to have respect for people's boundaries. It's not that nobody hates you, but you have to respect people's boundaries. You have to respect people's loved ones. If you were willing to change, you would have been changed. You cannot change somebody that is almost 40 years old out of certain habits that they have already have for years. It's very hard. For you to tell people that I wasn't interested in you and for you to buy this gift and send to me, you're sick. You're a sick person. You're sick. You're sick. Why would you con consistently buy stuff for months if somebody's not interested in you? Because just because the person left for a few hours to go to look for their family, two weeks was in Jamaica, you was around me right through. I want to tell people that I wasn't interested in you. We went to the beach in Portland, right? And when we went to the beach, um, I allowed her to go in the water. I allowed her to go swim. And me is not the kind of person, I'm not a clingy person. I'm not going to come and invade a space. Like, my life is my partner's space. I believe in giving partners their space. I don't believe enough to eat up a man. I don't believe enough to watch man. Me and girl, I'm not going to do certain things. I don't believe enough to watch woman. I'm not do certain things. I like to give people them space. That is just me. When we went to the beach, um, we were there. Uh, you know, I allowed her to go in the water. I watched her because she can't really swim like that. And when she went in the water, I was sitting, chilling, because I didn't really want to go in the water like that. And um, I end up sit down, I listen to some music, I go up on YouTube, because the whole time she was in Jamaica, I was just watching YouTube. I wasn't posting on my social medias. I wasn't posting on TikTok like that. I wasn't doing not much. I was just giving her my time. I cut off from doing my business, right? I cut off from doing my business and, you know, stop doing orders because I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to give this person my time and show this person that, look, I'm trying to actually be there. You get me? Anyways, no. Um, men up the there at the beach and basically she in the water. Me let she, she swim. She came out the water and once I went in the water, um, is like she 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 no, that's a lie. When she came out the water, she came to me and she was like, um, I want I, I want to know where we stand. Um, I want to know how you feel about me. You're not talking to me and stuff like that. I'm like, what the fuck? We're, we're there at the beach. What really are the issue? Me and you there at the beach already with us a chill. We are asked me them so there for. Like, we are asked me all of that for. It's like constant reassurance was needed. Like, me no need for reassure you. Me already put on my work and, and pick up my time and drive. Come and Portland, come carry you. Go, go come see all of this beautiful place. You get me a say, brother? Me no need to reassure you every second, Virgin. It's like me constantly, the inner one position, when me need to tell somebody I love you and, and do certain things to just prove my, 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 my love. And that is not what I'm used to. Not mean say me no love her, but then again, me should have to constantly eat up underneath you and constantly all over you. That is not good. Anyways, no. She said that to me. I got so annoyed, guys. I got so annoyed and upset and triggered. I went to the, to the sun to sit down. And when I went to the sun to sit, is like um a white girl, she's from Greece. She I think she come on his son and she actually um she not talk to me. And you know she just talk to me about Greece and stuff like that. Like I always want to go to Greece. At the same time, 
and it's like when we went in the water is like i noticed she came in the water too and it's like you know like i think she did come with my day and stuff like that and me don't remember if me did come out of the water i met sure if you become no one to lie but it was like i did not have no space at all not even to commute like me never really have no space the whole time my allow for going out the water she was there communicating with people swimming with people talking to people you know meeting new people and stuff like that but it's like when i was in the water i was you know like you know get what me i say she coming out the water at the same time while i was talking to this white girl you know and it kind of felt uncomfortable why you want space though i'm at my block you off of my something um yeah they never want time at my block you too uh You can't keep a man or a woman. Yeah, me can't keep a man or a woman, but somebody will complain about me send me this because them know say in our work and them I try to keep me. I try to love by me. Telling me that I can't keep a man or a woman that I walk away from a, a whole engagement is fucking sick. It's fucking sick. Anyways, when I was in the water with the white girl, she came in the water. It was okay, it was fine. But at the end of the day, it does seem like it was um you know it was a case where you know um me and watch you are but us one for us you know like me never like that because at the end of the day we're two mature people you get me i did not like that you get me it's like me never have no space that like, me could have no space that is it's like you know like Yes, we did get out of the water at one point together. Yes, yes, that was our time in the water. But I mean, like, you were on the sun, and then you see me communicate, then you see me going out of the water, and the, the girl tag along and come, and the girl just uh, talk to me because she had obviously come to Jamaica, and she she not have no friend like that there, and she just uh, look somebody for talk to her, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's like, you know, yeah. And at the end of the day, even though I'm lesbian, I'm not the kind of girl that be onto girls like that. Like, me are not the kind of girl where I go just snuff up myself in a girl's like that and be like, oh yeah, I want to eat your food. That's not my thing. Me just naturally, like, me like people naturally, like friendly people. I'm that kind of person when you talk to me, me talk to you. Like, you know, cool people, that is my kind of thing. I don't have... Somebody telling me to look on the comment section. When me go beach, me and my woman go in the water together. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, I get what you're saying. We did went in the water together, of course. But what people is not understand, what I don't understand is that I was in the I was going in the water with by myself. The girl tag along and the dog come in at the water too. And then she just jump up. She sit down and drink her drinks and just jump up and come in at the water. Me na say men are never going. Men are never in at the water after that. Of course we were in the water. There were children in the water too swimming. Me and one little girl did attack one at a time. You know whether they are chat about us or that things. The little girl was so mature. She was like about eight, but she's so mature. Me and I actually have a serious conversation. She attack about children and get me and them so there with that uh, like two normal somebody you understand me i say so nothing is wrong with going in the water with your partner but it's just that it's like there was some kind of oh like every, every just each on like the clinginess me not like that sunday i don't like it nothing is wrong with that nothing is wrong with that that is not what i'm trying to say when you go to beach of course you want to go in the water with your partner. i mean being already in the water the whole time and she has said she's scared because she cannot swim so the whole time she had the water too, best belief that I didn't even did it on my phone. I didn't watch her too. It wasn't even like say, oh, she didn't have water. I just did it and I look people to talk to her. No, know me I watch her because she cannot swim. And I know say, if anything should happen to her, it's going to be on me. So I always make sure say, you know what? I watch her in the water because I say, you know what? She cannot swim. I mean, I want the water to take her up because the water is kind of rough the day. So I say, you know, the whole time I sit down there, I watch her, I watch her, I watch her, I watch her, I watch her. It's like I want a life yard. But just today I watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her, watch But it was just my time to go in the water now. And then, then again, too, on top of that, too, the reason why I had left from up with past three days because I was upset because she come with this, oh, um, I don't know where we stand and I don't know 
what is going to happen. Like she just come with this. Oh, she don't know how me feel about her and this and that. I mean, I said, but we, we, you need really reassurance. Me, me and you're there at beach, brother. This is not the place to do that. No, people are here. People are here. Um, yes, exactly. I don't think she was in love with her. I don't understand what you say it's shiny, no. She have to understand you need your space, your adult. I think people problem is that like toxic situationship are so worshipped in today's society to, to the point where people think that um because as one can remember I was triggered by something that she said. So I went down to the bottom to close to the water, put my towel there and put on my sunscreen. I'ma meet the white girl who was talking, went in the water, and then boom, that was her coming in the water. People need to understand and say sometimes you just need space you don't need for constantly argue with somebody or whatever because all in that i was just trying to walk away you get me nobody now say you can't up your partner but at the end of the day like you know like like you see you trigger somebody you know make them make them do what they want to do for a while and then you know you, you approach them as you don't you don't like i don't get it I get it that women love attention, but you have to like, like I, I know like it's so sad. She would have been such a nice person without certain ways and certain insecurities. She would have been a very nice person, but certain stuff is like it just make her look like an awful monstrous person. Like certain stuff is just too much. You can't lie about certain things for your attention. You can't do certain things. You can't constantly need reassurance every day. And not because somebody don't tell you, say, them love you every second of the day. It don't mean, say, them don't love you. It don't mean that they don't love you. It don't mean that they don't love you. Me not think, me need for them in one relationship, but me need to tell my man or my woman every second or every hour, say, me love them. I don't think I need that. I need to be in that kind of situation. You have to just use certain actions and know how I feel. But she's so unreasonable to the point where she can't even use certain actions. I know, say, boy, you know? It's love. Why are none of them not the same way if that is love? Why? That is not love. They pretend they love you and them they up under your arm every second, but at the same time, they my fuck man when them leave the house. That is not love. You don't need, if you need for watch a woman every second of the, of the day, every minute, if you, you don't make no sense at all. You don't make no sense. Me understand? You've been in certain situations. You've been user or whatever. But to be honest, I wasn't using her. I wasn't using her. I wasn't in no situation. Because I never knew her. I never knew who she is. I never knew nothing about her. So it's not like I know her. I mean, not say, oh, she's a girl with money. I mean, not say, yeah, I can't go and get money. No, I didn't know who she is. I didn't know nothing about her. So the whole time I talked to her, you know, she would have just... And whenever we argue, she always send money. And I did not like that because me, I say, you know what? It better for have a conversation more than for you to send money. For you fix the problem. You never yet sit down and say, all right, let's talk. Let us talk. Have a serious conversation. I mean, you see, even complain to my friend them. 
So till one of my friends say to her, Sky did have to say to her because she had complained, say, yeah, this and that. And Sky if you say you cannot give her money every time you and her have a, 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 have a disagreement. You have to talk to her because that look like, say, you a trick. Like, you just say, use money to get her. And at the end of the day, she's not on that with you. If you want to be a trick, be a trick. If you want to be a girlfriend, be a girlfriend. You see? She come and she had tell her to beat her up or me spit on her, me do her things. And you see? She have it for say, me is in the wrong, you know. She not say, she provoke me and she nag me and she annoy me and she push me to the point where I couldn't take it no more. She not say that, you know. You see what she do? She go and she buy this. She buy this. Why would you buy this? The company I use is an express shipping company. Why you go buy this and then you're unsure about how somebody feel about you? Why? Not to say that I'm not thankful for the, the rose, the teddy bear, and, and, and whatever it is, but why you buy the person gift? If the person is so awful and the person this to you and the person do that to you. People keep saying this person need real love and at the end of the day, no matter what you do as a person, it's not good enough. I could remember I cried so much one night, one day, because I stay up all night with this person, all night. And this is my time, this is me pouring out, trying to just be there for a person genuinely. Right? Trying to actually be there as a human being. This person said them are going, giving themselves, um, allegedly, because I don't know if they don't go so. The person said they are giving themselves to the police, right? Because a warrant was out to arrest them. And I was up on the phone from about 10 o'clock, dating a, a, lot, of, a lot of time. A lot of time because I did not know their destiny. Uh, so you don't really see them on the phone until about three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, until they start them destiny, and um, them journey. If you say, for go at the police station, at the, at, the, at, the, at the next parish or state or whatever they call that place, and it's like, I could I remember the next day. The person I got said to me, say, remember, you know, you're going to a whole police station, right? You're going to a whole police station. This is a whole police station here, go. And as, as far as I can tell, what I know about criminal system or justice system or police station and them, so they went to go courthouse or any police place. You know, if somebody knows, say that they, them, them should even make, take up them phones and them are calling your phone and them suddenly. So I did not call the phone because I was thinking, look, she will call me when she come out to, to whatever. So I never did really a thing say to call because me and you already talked before you're going. You understand me I say? Me and you already talked before you're going. So me no need to call you or nothing like that. Me end up, um, she end up call me. About 12 o'clock the day, in the afternoon. And you know what the girl I got said to me say, it actually made me cry. Because me I say, me genuinely, like me genuinely, dead ear, dead on the phone with you for hours before you actually go in to the police station. And you are going to say, you give your brother the phone and me not even call the phone here. Me not even call. You didn't even give a phone call. I was like, what? I was like, I didn't even give a phone call. I didn't give the phone call. You went in to sort out your business. Why would I call the phone? 
You already gone in, me now go call the phone while you're in at the police station. Suppose me no know we are doing them, me no want to call while I even do even though somebody has your phone, your brother is not my friend. Why would I want to talk to your brother? Why? When may I go talk to your, your not even your brother, your friend, me for say. When may I go talk to your friend? Yeah, she did that prank me for see how me feel about her. But why you do all of that for see how people feel about you? That is sick. That is a sadistic thing to do. If you need for go that far for see how people feel about you, you don't need for date people, brother. You don't need for date people. It's that simple. You got to threaten your own self and them Sunday for see how people feel about you or how people react. That is not safe. You cannot do that. You see, one time the girl said that to me, guys, I cried. You know what I cried? But why I cried? Because me, I say, I get upset, I'm a cuss her out. I'm a say, you know what, I can't do this no more. Because me, I say, how can you have this mentality? I already did up on the phone with you. How was, how was before you go in, you know, before you carry yourself, you know, I up on the phone with you, you know. And I try to make you comfortable, you know, you're up on the phone and cry, you know. Why would I call the phone while you are in the station? While they lock up her in a holding cell or what? What me I go call the phone for? What me I call on the phone for? Anyways, she say you don't even you don't even call the phone. Eh? I say you know what? I can't do this no more. And when me tell her my mind or something, she call the phone and cry. I say she's sorry and she not mean for, 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 for say what she say. She never mean it in that way because I we are from two different countries. She say it in a way where me not understand. So she never she never mean it in a kind of way because you come from two different country. She never understand me. Never understand what she has say. You, you say, why me never call? You say, why me never call the phone? You say, no, you say, what? You, do, you didn't even call. I left my phone in my bed. I didn't even call, not even once. Why would you say that? Somebody on the phone for you for hours and you never appreciate the hours of somebody on the phone with your father. You have complaints and I don't mean, make one phone call to you, brother. Me, me they feel so bad and so hurt. I cry because I say, boy. Me don't, me don't know what, me don't know, me don't know, me don't know what else to do. Me never know. Me I say every little thing is like a complaint. Every little thing is like a complaint. Everything. You are eating my pum pum, you say me lap me eye. Yeah, you are trying to say me not looking at your face. You are eating my pum pum and me lap me eye. You are complaining about that. You cannot eat your woman pum pum and your woman lap her eye. You complain about that. Eh? You are complaining about that. that. You're that insecure in yourself, brother. No, sir. Like, yeah, try. Me and you in the same apartment. First of all, me and you in the same apartment, you know. Me tell us, sir, me afraid of AC, guys. As little AC breeze blow, my cold. Me not like, me can't surviving as too much cold. Me, me, me don't know if I'm anemic or what, but whenever me in a cold, me start to feel, me start to feel uncomfortable. You see, because she live in Canada, she used to the cold, and she like the cold. The whole of the house cold. Me said to her, say, you know what? Because me no want thing had cause as the AC like if she start sweat. So she in the room, like some nights, I think one night me and her watch movie and me drop asleep. As we start watching movie, me drop asleep, he left me on the sofa. One next night, me, as me start watching movie, then me drop asleep because me tired. Me back at driving, me tired. She in her room, the cool air blow, me tell her, so me can't manage the AC. So some nights, me deliberately would have drop asleep in the sofa because me can't manage the cold in the room. It's not a case where me don't want to sleep beside her. And I, sometimes I go inside and sleep beside her. So tell me, you know, carry one blanket, go there in the last part and start sleep in the room. Because, you know, me I say, you know what? Me and the cold, yeah, now I go, with me. I go to scare my, my blanket and I saw me sleep in the bed with her. So she go say, me not sleep in the, And I drop, me drop asleep sometime. And sometimes to become tired. 
It's not like, say, me leave out of the apartment. I am there in the apartment, you know, guys, and this person is complaining still. Complaining. Everything is just complaining. I can't complain about everything. Everything I complain about. I can't do that. Guys, sometimes I tell you, know. 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 you know. work, and you're under pressure, sometimes your body will just knock out. And the whole time she there in Jamaica is like me, me, me tired because of driving and driving take a lot of anybody will know about driving. It's when you have to drive up and down and you have to go yes and yes and yes and yes and take up and so country road and you have to, your, your body will get tired. So something you read somewhere, as soon as you lay down you just knock out, you just start sleep because your body you, you just need rest. And that is it. The fact say, I was actually in the living room and not outside of the living room. Not one time she can say, me left while I was in Kingston. I left and I went and I go somewhere to see. No, 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 guys. She, she's scared to drive. She said she's scared to drive. She said she can't manage the road because she see all the people in drive at Jamaica. She said she can't, she cannot drive here. She said she could have never take on them driving here. So I'm me alone if I drive from, from Portland to, from Kingston to Portland, from Kingston to Mobile. Me pick her up from Mobile to, 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 to town, from town to Yasso, from Yasso to Desso. I saw me if I drive. You get me? So most of the driving, I me did I do most of the driving because she afraid of the road and she said the road them different than foreign road because she has said some of the road them cutting a four and them something like some of the road them the highway them a four drive and them something so she not really used to them small squinch up country road there. the road them all junction road and one time she said junction road she couldn't believe the road like that exists at Jamaica she said oh my god I have to show my friend these roads and show them how bad you are on driving how good you are on driving. She said, you would be a killer on, on Canadian road and them something because she, she, she never know say road like that there in Jamaica so she can't drive on the road there. She say it. She say it. So I'm me alone that I do all of the driving. Me alone. You understand? I'm body tired. I come in sometimes, I'm tired, sometimes I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I can't do nothing but sleep. I can't do nothing at all. Me and him sleep and cuddle already. Me and him sleep. You get me? One time I did rent the hotel room, I never did know say a double bed in the room. The room I get, I never did really comfortable with the room either. But I never make it be a problem because me say, you know, when I get the room already, and plus, then they said the room they want me to want, they book out. So I just take what I get and just make it be comfortable. You understand what I say? Me, we get the two, two the two, the two bed them in the room. She sleep on the next bed, and I sleep on the next bed. I wasn't thinking that, like, I think we, we slept on one of the bed them one of them, one of the night them when we did dead here. If you is a woman or supposed to say you is a stud and you have your girlfriend, why is it that it's my job to hop underneath you? If you want to sleep with me, you know, come and hug me up, man, and come sleep with me and them something there. You're going to say, oh, say, me not sleep with. Like, this, I did, I think. I, I think I one night out of the three nights when they were there at the hotel, I take me to sleep with her or so. I don't remember. But even at the hotel, I was still tired too. Because we drive from um Kingston and go Moby and then come back from Moby and come back at Kingston and come back at Ochi again. It's very rough. You get me? So it's like, you know, yeah, it's like a lot. But... The fact say I never once left her in the house while she was in Kingston and she had complaints I'm not sleep with her, I'm not this with her. It's just so you say it's just it's just it's just somebody insecure. It's just somebody being insecure. You understand me? I say, if me go out on the road and say me go club and say me go bar, go drink with man, but I say, you know, say, me do something wrong, but she can't say that the one little time me left her was when me go look for my grandfather and me see what I'm to me care. Me can't even show another the video them and the picture of the fucking tire. Me have to sleep at my grandfather's house because it did too late when time me left Frank tire shop to go back for, for come back at Kingston to she. I'm already left the key with her and tell her say look. Um, I talk to her on the phone and tell her say look. If not you can go Uber, get Uber and you can go crew or you can go pe Pegasus. These places are safe places. These places are not places that nobody will hurt you. These are places that I go to. 
Nobody now go do you know at them place here. Yeah. All you need for do, I just do flash your money and you're good to go. You get me? That is it. Me explain all of these things to her. Oh, um, Kingston is really bad and I don't know Kingston. I don't know Jamaica and stuff like that. Jamaica is not that bad to the point where you can get Uber and go somewhere as 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 decent as Pegasus. Uber is not a company known for kidnapping people. I don't I, to be honest, I don't think her attitude will change. And it's very sad because I don't think she's a completely awful person. I don't think say if she would actually change her ways she'd be such a nice sweet person but when you have certain insecurities and you have certain ways in a you turn in a monster you do some stuff with questionable it make people scared of you and you cannot blame people for being scared and not wanting to deal with you and your bullshit it's just a truth it's so much that a human being can take bro so much I understand you don't want to be hurt, but there are certain things that you can see in a people where you know, say, them probably are going to hurt you or stuff like that. To be honest, she's very naive. So between me and you guys, she's very, very naive. And I don't think she have grown up. I'm always talking to her about that too. She is very, very naive. She's very, very naive. And I always would say it. I say you have to be realistic. This is life. The whole away have past trauma. You know? People always have an excuse. You have to take accountability for your actions. That is all I'm saying. at all you have to set healthy boundaries with your partner too you have to do that in no matter who you are date in no matter who you are date in no matter who you are date why she don't get them done when she asked me about her teeth one at a time them right and she said to me, say, if she, she said she's going to get braces. First, she said she's going to get braces. And then she asked me what I think. No, I think she asked me what I think about her teeth. And I said, she said, if me like her gap, I'm going to say, well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I don't, gap are not my problem, you know, like, me don't really have a problem with gap. Actually have a gap and you're born with a gap that is your original look and you can keep your gap nothing is wrong with a gap but gap is just not for me me never have a gap so me don't really know what i mean you know it's not really my thing like you know it's not my thing she says she'll go get the braces right anyway she says she have to get speech therapy and stuff like that and it's like one day she has said, oh, say, people always are compliment her upon her gap. And I tell her, say, her gap teeth look nice on them Sunday. It's the same thing with her weight. Like, she has said, um, she actually, um, she actually did ask me about her weight and stuff. I mean, did I advise her upon what she could have do for actually cut a few pounds. And then she has said, people like her with her weight and tell her, say, she look like teddy bear. And tell her, say, them like when time she bigger and oh, she look on them Sunday. I rate it and blah, blah, blah. Like, me, 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 me not get that. Like, you ask me for advice and then you tell me, say, people like you this way. And people actually appreciate you this way. I did not get that. 
Me never, me never get it at all, like, me never understand that, like, me never get it at all. You say people like when to your big, and you like when to your big, and you like when to your have on the weight, and people say you look like teddy bear, and you look like this, and you look like that, like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, like. I, I, do, I don't know. I don't know at all. way right even if i like you that way it's all about what you like for yourself you get me like i wasn't willing to change nobody at all i i'm not that kind of person it's all about how she feels about herself if me meet you with your weight and me no like no like people with weight it's for me to move on and leave you alone right at the end of the day, it's not about me not liking you with your weight. I met you that way. That is how I met you. That is how I met you. I cannot, I cannot force you to lose weight. You have to want to lose weight for yourself. I actually feel like say you want to. You know like me can't, me can't, me can't come and tell us say no, me can't do that. Me not have no. Me, 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 that is not me. Not have no. Me not have no. Me can't do that. Me can't do that at all. Me cannot do that. I do compliment her. I do compliment her. I do. If you want somebody to compliment you, that is not how you go about getting compliment. You ask me for advice and then I don't know what is really the, the point. And that guys will be it for today's hot update. Once again guys, please ensure you like this video, comment, subscribe if you're new and also please hit that notification button just to get notified when i drop new hot update just like this one guys until next time i'm out